Hey everyone, welcome back to FamCast. We're starting our 10th episode in the double digits now. Yeah. We've got uh, everyone on board, except for Will. He's still in a tech school. But my name is Trevor, and I'm here with my co-host Trey. What up? Tim. Hey. Zach Wynn. Howdy. Zach Mealy. Yo. So we are here to talk about microtransactions. The, pay the, the paywall. The paywall. Pay to play. Pay to win. I.e. every game now. Right. Yeah. Right. That's or, the problem. Or Ubisoft, think, you know. Right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Shots so, fired. Sounds like we already have a lot of uh, very strong feelings about this. <laughs> let's get deeper so, into this. Yeah, kid. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's get started. I, I think there's there's games that do this well, and there's games that don't do this very well. Let's start off with well. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, I, me personally, I, I'll say I think Heroes of the Storm does it very well mm -hmm. to where it's not pay to win. If you want to buy heroes for money, you can. You know, buy all the, the gems and gold that you want to. You can buy cosmetics, buy your mounts, whatever you want to do. But it's all, you can get it in game. You have your loot crates that you win just from leveling up your heroes. Yep. It just um, lessens grinding. Yeah, exactly. So if you, feel free to, you know, buy it if you want to. But if not, you can still earn it in the game. And it's not, doesn't give you an edge over anyone else. Can we stretch that to pretty much all MOBAs in general, though? Like, uh, what MOBA do you think is really bad at that? Because even League of Legends is is fine at it. It does nothing but cosmetics. Smite does nothing but cosmetics. And, and I think, what about Dota? I don't know much about Dota. I think there's, like, that slight paywall in League of Legends just because it's, like, you the, the characters cost so much, but, I mean, you can grind out playing those games. Right. But those games take forever. They do. Yeah. They, they do. do have the free rotation too, which is nice. Which is nice, but, but I mean, what if your character's not in rotation that you want to play? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I mean, then you wouldn't, you know, you would throw the cash at it, but at yeah. the same time, you're like, he's he's already in the game. Why can't I just? League is definitely a little more steep. Yeah. Than I mean, Heroes of the Storm, in my opinion. Yeah, it for is. buying guys. But I still don't think it's too terrible. It's not too terrible, considering the really other grindy. ones. It's very grindy. Oh, I can't remember how runes work. Do runes still have a thing in that game? Man, I haven't played it in forever. Runes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All RP, though. You get those with... Not RP. Uh, no, IP, no. Right? Remember how you put rune... You have rune right, pages? Right, you have rune pages. Yeah, yeah. Right. But, but those, those, are, yeah, those, are, still those are still there. Okay, but, but those are completely free, right? Well, you no. You, for those. you, you have, have to use the, IP, right? But you have to grind IP. You have to grind IP. Yeah. 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 Right, right, right. But to buy additional rune pages, I think, costs It's RP. Money. Yeah, right points. Yeah. I mean, it's... I really shouldn't have an opinion on it because but, it's, it's yeah, I mean, I don't like it. I don't play you that can't, game much anymore anyways. I've got my few selected characters that I play still, and the, that's it. The thing with the rune pages, though, is you can't, you can't use RP to buy runes, though. Yeah. Like, you can't use RP to buy IP. So, in terms of the runes, which is the only in-game advantage you can get, you right. still you have to grind for it. So, I still don't count that as part of a paywall. It's just really grindy. It's still. grindy, but you can still do it. And you yeah. have to do it because yeah. you can't pay for it. There's no way to buy All runes. Right. Well, you guys brought up long games and how tiresome gr uh, grinding can be if it's a long match. Like, didn't Player Unknown just introduce microtransactions too? Or they, t they hinted at that's it? That's all cosmetics, though. Is it all right. cosmetic? It, all, yeah. it is all cosmetic. See, um, person, I don't like like Overwatch. Overwatch is all cosmetic too, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I I don't see any. I'm very picky about microtransactions. Like, if I'm throwing money at something, like. If it's like, oh, you can get like this bundle of weapons or something, like cool, but it's not like too OP. I'm not gonna buy stuff on. Granted, I have dropped money on loot boxes in Overwatch, uh, which I think that's they do a good job of that. Just because you every character's in the game, it's free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, the only thing that you pay for that you want to pay for is the cosmetics, and, and that's, that's just a, that's just the personal yeah, choice I if you want to yeah. do that. But and mean, there's in-game currency on top of that too. So if you get doubles, you're gonna get. Yeah, more gold get, get towards money. items. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because I don't play Overwatch nearly as much as you guys, uh -huh. okay? So correct me if I'm wrong here. But in order to get that in-game currency, you can't just buy that in-game currency, right? No, you have to so, play the game. I don't like that as much as the other games, because at that point, if like a McCree skin came out that I really wanted, I have to just hope I get that it in get a chest, it, yeah. which I think that's worse. Smite, Smite does that, and it's one of the worst things about where it. You can just, you want a microtransaction where you can go buy what you want. If I want to spend money you on don't something, want a chance at it. right? If I want to spend twenty dollars because I like this skin, I should be able to spend twenty dollars and get this skin. Yeah, yeah. You know, and Smite is, I think that's is terrible. Watch is working on. Yeah. Well, you can. You, I mean, you've got gold. 
But you, if there's a skin that you, if you want, have the gold, but it's talking about you can't buy it gold. right out of the oh, right. Yeah. Oh, he's saying about buying gold. I thought you meant buying the skin specifically. Right. Gotcha. You, you have to get gold out of those boxes still, so it's right. still just a chance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. See, the gambler in me, right, loves the the <laughs> randomness. <laughs> the, of the I box. love it too. Because uh, yeah, sure, the first the ten boxes box. I buy, I'm right. gonna be like, oh, I didn't get anything, but that eleventh box. Oh, it's sure. gonna make it all work. Oh yeah, no, Which and is, they that's... they they stack them too. So like ten is cheaper than yeah, you got two yeah. fives or whatever. Yeah. And you're just like, okay, that extra box, I'm yeah. feeling, I'm feeling it. I can feeling get something it. in it. There's something about wasting money that just turns me on. Yeah, <laughs> I don't just know like what it is. Those uh, those Hearthstone cards today. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I think what did oh. we spent sixty bucks on oh, my getting gosh. cards today. That makes my heart hurt. I spent 50 on 50 packs, and then Tim just bought 15? 15, 15 oh. for 20. Oh I think when Hearthstone first came out, I dropped about $150. Yeah, I parts. think when, when Hearthstone first came out, I dropped I am, a bit of money. I, yeah. But like I think so their, their paywall is kind of... I want to say it's kind of oh, it's kind of bad. Well, there, yeah. well, there again, you don't have to. I mean, you can get plenty of packs in game from, from uh, doing the. They've got that's a also re- grind factor. Arena. I guess. They have tavern brawl. They've got quests. Right. I mean, they give you a lot of different ways to do it. But in that way, it's like it's not a pay wall. It's a pay. It's a grind wall. No, it's no, no. A, it's like it's not a full size wall. It's like a pay step ladder. Right. And like you gotta like get a, over like. You can still play the game 100%, and you can still even be semi-good at it. But to be at the top, you either have to play play a, a whole bunch mm-hmm. in order to unlock the gold and stuff, or you have to pay to get those better mm-hmm. cards. Yeah. Or you have to be very strategic about how you make those cards. And there's a lot of games that are doing that right now. Uh, For Honor was one that did that. We're like, you For, can... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> See, I like... Rolls his eyes. Okay, listen. <laughs> okay, here. I'm unpopular opinion. I like For Honor. I think it's a fun game. However, the way they do their um, what was it called? Iron is that what? Yeah, the, the, yeah. The, 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 yeah. The way they do the iron, where like you can unlock it through like missions, essentially, um, like daily quests, essentially, or just through playing the game. But it's so slow, and if you want to do anything with it, you just have to grind it out and stockpile it. And if you make the mistake of spending it on something you shouldn't. Then you're kind of stuck and like, or you regret what you, or purchased. you regret it, or you can pay and you can buy like XP. You can like, you can spend iron to buy XP boosts and stuff like that. I don't know. I just feel like For Honor does exactly that. like it's not necessarily a pay wall where you can't play the game uh, halfway w- good. That's not proper English, but you know what I'm saying. <laughs> where you can't you can't be proficient in the game. Unless you spend money, but it sure as heck helps. And I think Fortnite is the same way. Like, Fortnite has all kinds of crazy unlockable stuff. And all, all just all kinds of stuff that you can unlock. But it, unlocking is incredibly slow, in my opinion. You either... The grind is heavy. Yeah, so you either grind out or you buy. The thing about Fortnite when it comes to this is in, in Fortnite, you get these llamas. And the llamas are like chests, right? Which are the best game. part of they're Fortnite, by the way. They're like loot boxes. That's all they are, but yeah, they talk yeah, but, to you and you can pick them. But they're llama piñatas yeah. that you get with axes. Okay, um, you could have said piñatas. I was like, llama? Like, yeah, you beat, a pin, <laughs> you beat a llama with a shovel or something. I'm not even joking, but okay. it's a piñata. It's randomized what you hit it with. What's kind of neat about theirs is it is grindy to get them for free, right? Mm-hmm. It is. There are some missions that I'll give them to you, but they're grindy to get for free. But like when you go to hit your llama, it could turn into a silver llama. Or it could turn into a gold llama, which means you're going to get more. So you also have a chance of just getting a free upgraded llama for better loot. So that's kind of neat. But I agree. You can either grind out to get the better heroes, which is the mm-hmm. big thing, right? That's what you want more than that's, anything. I mean, more than, well, and that. And they have this weird thing where it's like, which I agree and disagree with it, where it's like for twenty nine ninety nine, you get the base game. And that's you start with one hero, which are the playable characters. And then I think because it's like early access, right. still you get like eight llamas or something like that, but you get the game. Right. Then there's the fifty nine ninety nine, and that gets you all a starting set of the all the heroes and so many llamas and such. And see, I'm okay with that to some degree because a full size game is fifty nine ninety nine. And so at that point you you're paying a full size game and you're unlocking all the heroes. That's great and everything. But then for but and you get some stuff. But then if you pay a hundred dollars you get all the heroes. Is it a hundred? 
Uh, Actually, this one I'm not. Is that a founder? I, think it's, yeah, I started I think it's to complain. I'm starting the complaint about this, and now I'm remembering what all you get with it. And one of the things you get with the the founders, with the like the, the highest, big version, the it's like 150, is you get two extra copies yeah. of the game to give to your friends. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah. And so, like, essentially, you're buying the 59.99 one, and then you're getting two extra copies, Correct. and you're getting some extra stuff too. So now that I've started this, I don't agree with my original rant. <laughs> like, I still have some problems with Fortnite. But actually, the, the the like the starting like twenty nine ninety nine or the fifty nine, and you can always upgrade from the twenty nine nine mm-hmm. to the fifty nine for the difference. I believe. Oh wow. I, th- I think. I think. I may be wrong about that. That's good. I am fairly certain. And we have a whole thinking out loud coming out for this game. Yes, too, so exactly. You stay tuned for that. So we should probably move on to a different game. Well, kind of on on that same point with Heroes of the Storm, they do the same thing with their bundles because they've got bundles in the game to where you can get like a bunch of like heroes or maybe yeah. like one hero and two of its skins. But if you have any of those items, it discounts from the cost. Mm-hmm. That way, you don't feel like you're, you know, paying the full price right. and not really getting all the benefits. Here's, I mean, the thing about heroes is, is like I've bought two heroes that I can remember. That is, one was Diablo, and the other one was um, Angel, uh, uh, Tyrael. Tyrael. And oh, yeah. that's it. And I only like there are only four heroes I don't have. So like I've unlocked the majority of them with gold. Nice. And so, okay. yeah, like... Even currently? I only have four heroes. That, there's only four heroes on the roster I don't own. Damn. Yeah, Even, currently. like, right now? Yeah, 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 Wow, that's amazing. I'm only, like, level 302 or something like that. Dang. And heroes? Yeah. How much of this game do you play? I've played a lot of heroes. My brother and my buddy Mason, like, that's what they play yeah. together. And so, like, my brother's, like... Because well, your level's, like, based on your cumulative level. Right. And I think my brother's, like, five or 600-something. Um, anyway, my brother and I were rank rank one at one time on ranked. Uh, he, he I was Avatar and he was Illidan. <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I know. We're cheap. Cheap, 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 um, cheap. Anyway, where was where were we going? I was just saying that I like heroes. Like I don't think heroes is too bad. Um, mm-hmm. Other games that have semi paywalls or not pay, but they're kind of like microtransactions. Microtransactions. Thank you very much. That aren't bad. So all the MOBAs. Well, what for the most part? GTA. GTA is huge in microtransactions. But isn't it it? bad though? It could. I I hear it's terrible. Okay, at least if you want to play online, Mm -hmm. like you get these shark cards. Right. The the equivalent between like GTA money and real world money isn't that great. It's like a hundred dollar, a hundred dollars real world for like three point five million or five million in the game, and that if you're buying cars or like. They they br- bring out all these uh new DLC packs like uh-huh. and you can't do the DLC unless you buy the cars yeah but you have to have the money to buy the cars so you spend real world money on stuff so you can buy the vehicles to do the job that's terrible yeah that and if you, if you're doing like GTA I mean you need a crew anyway and like you can't do anything unless you do the you buy in with this money and like playing this or doing the stock market owning businesses they they've with the latest DLC, I think they're doing Gunrunner stuff now. But you need uh-huh. a crew to do it. So, like, a six-man crew or something to do four to six to do this job. And then you also need the funds to do it. And, like, the newest DLC that they're coming out with, like, the last couple or whatever, you can actually set up businesses, do these jobs to, to make money. And you can make legitimate money without buying it. But you have to buy in to make the money. We had a guy who would come in. And he would buy on a daily basis, I kid you not, $50 shark cards for gambling. He would gamble that $50 shark card. I don't know how you gamble in the game with your money, but he would gamble. Like, he would put up, I guess, a $50 shark card or something. I don't know how he did it if he had to wait. that or you're gambling online. uh, And he would literally gamble that shark card for whatever they did. They'd do some GTA thing, and if he lost, he had to give up that money. This was at the pickle store? Yes. I've only ever gotten... Was this when I was there? Maybe... It, it, he came in for probably a solid two weeks straight doing it, and then oh. I just never saw him again. He probably broke. Yeah, but probably. Yeah. Probably like I've only ever bought one shark card, and it was because GameStop was running a special. It was like you got three point five million dollar shark shark card if you bought the game, which was fifty percent off. And I was like, I already have the game. I'll just buy it for my brother for Christmas. He wants to play mm. with me. Like here you mm. go. Got the shark card, and I was like, nice. Was, I mean, and PlayStation Network I know runs it all the time. Where if you buy like the game. Uh, you can buy it paired with a shark cart for a discounted price. Mm-hmm. Which, but other than, if you're not getting it on a sale date or something, like, it's not worth it at all. So that's another example of a bad 
bad microtransaction. Right. I, I, I assume that's what you're using. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. I don't think it's a, a great model. Because it's think... basically buying it to play online. <laughs> Sorry. I think, um, I think basically MOBAs, it ends... That like that's or the ones we've that's described heroes and league and heroes smite. league smite I think that's the end of the list of good microtransactions. I just want to add one little quick thing that I don't know if you guys knew about. Did you know in smite for thirty bucks this is constant you don't have to wait thirty bucks you get the ultimate god pack that unlocks every character out and every future character. Well, that's actually for thirty fun. bucks you will have every character that comes out and they're constantly releasing new. Oh, like every every okay. two weeks to a month at least every okay. they're. On par. So, yeah. is there a huge catalog? I don't. Oh yeah, okay. there's tons. tons. There's I don't care how much you try to talk up my I'll never. <laughs> You're missing <laughs> out. I tried missing to play. It, I tried to play it on Xbox. Because play it with Tim. Of, because achievements. Play it with Tim. Play it with Tim. All right. The second you start talking to the third person, we have problems. My <laughs> so the issue then is. Why do microtransactions exist? And this easy answer is like money. Not well. I mean, it's money, but it's also. I feel like gamers have proven to game developers or businesses, the business side of it, that they are willing to do it. And it's created this sour sourness between gamers and game developers because they hear microtransactions and they're like, shit, again? Like, I have to buy this to play the game. Right. But at the same time, when microtransactions were introduced, and it wasn't until this, like, the generation of console that we're on, I feel like, now, PC, it might be different, but, like, they got introduced last seven years or so, right? Yeah. And gamers bought in. They're like, oh, yeah, I want that stuff. I want that stuff. I want to be able to do that. And now it's gotten to a point of balance where I think it's kind of shifting, and everybody's like, we don't want microtransactions anymore. Well, the problem yeah. is we continue. I'm sorry, Trey, what were you going to say? No, that's, I was agreeing. I was just going to say, I feel like we perpetuate it, though. For like, sure. Constantly. Oh, yeah. Like, constantly. Oh, yeah. Like, Trevor... Bought sixty packs today. Fifty, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, but fifty still, packs like, today. But I would have too yeah. if I had the money for yeah. it. Yeah. If you like that game enough, I'm sure you're willing to drop money for it. I think it goes deeper than just that. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that as as a group of people, as just people in general, we become so impatient and people know developers oh, yeah, people understand that. Really. Yeah. People developers are just taking advantage of that fact. They're just like, Oh, you know, you could take uh, six months to get these level eight walls in Clash of Clans, or you can spend four hundred dollars and get it today. Well, what was that? The uh, the Overwatch DLC that they dropped or whatever, where it was like it, they had that. It was it they you had like the weekend or whatever to like grind it out, and if like people did the math of how many hours it would take to like do that, and like oh, to uprising. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uprising. That's probably what it was. Like, you couldn't earn everything by grinding it out in that time. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, if you wanted every single item from Uprising, you wouldn't be able to... Yeah. Without buying yeah. it. I think that's what that, that... There's a big hubbub about it. Like, the hours in that weekend or week or whatever it was. I think that's, yes, I think it's yeah. been one of the shortest events, but... I think yeah. that's why they extended it at the end, too. Yeah. Yeah. I think there's, like... There's a difference between, like, paywall... To me, difference between paywall and microtransactions. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So like microtransactions are like the little things like loot boxes right. or skins, whatever. Cosmetics. Cosmetics. Whereas pay to win is what it sounds like. Okay. So like in a game that I used to play a lot called uh, All Points Bulletin, AP, a, APB. Yeah. That was the prime example of play to win or pay to win because you couldn't, you would unlock guns in that game. But they would be nowhere. What but there buy. wouldn't, yeah, there wouldn't be anywhere near as good as guns that you would have to buy with real money really yeah. and there'd be features that would be locked behind that paywall so like you could start off with the base color of what you want like you'd have like maybe a shirt that had like three different colors you want to do and then you could only stick three vinyls on it whereas the paywall for that you could do like several colors all kinds of vinyls all over it like however you want to customize it however you want however much you wanted to but then you also get that reward of, you know, bonus XP. I was yeah. Say, yeah, they're, bu they're so buffers on, so, with. Yeah, so it's just more of like, buff. it's a buff. That paywall of that person who is, you know, leveling up exponentially more than the person below it, who's not paying for it, just doing the free to play yeah, compared okay. to the one that's doing the pay to play. Yeah. That would, okay, I get what you're saying. So, uh, you're playing Clash Royale. I'm a mobile player. 
in case you I guys see didn't know. I see the ads all the time. Clash Royale, Royale <laughs> extremely pl- pay to win. Extremely right. pay to yeah. win. 100%, you can sit there and pay no money on it, and you'll level up and stuff, but you'll never get your cards. Uh, I think I read an article where the top like 10 to 100 people spend over a grand a month right. on mm. that game. Well, there's that's like a Marvel contest of heroes, champions. It's whatever. pretty much all think, of those mobile I think, games. Yeah, now. I feel like a lot of the mobile games are going to be well, yeah. very pay to win mm-hmm. because yeah. some people don't want to, people don't want to do the grind. Right. right. People don't want to... Well, I feel like it's easier to make, in mobile games especially, like right. to make the grind more like exponentially more hard. Like that's something harder. that's something you have yeah. on you at all yeah. times. Yeah. Well, also you have to think about there's more mobile gamers out there than probably any other type of gamer. True. Yeah. I mean, there's there's more people. I I forget the the statistic, but there's something about like there's there's however many more mobile gamers than there are like console and PC gamers combined. Just because I mean everybody has a cell phone. Everyone has access to that to where and not gets everyone bored has. And downloads and sure, <laughs> yeah, like er, not everyone has like a gaming PC or a yeah. console, but everyone's got a cell phone. Right. Yeah, I mean phones now, like they're like games are of such, like higher quality than they like. I mean, I remember playing Snake on oh, sure. <laughs> oh, a yeah, phone, man. like that was it. It was like that and solitaire right and now you can play all these different games and you don't have to do, get a console i yeah. was always told if you guys ever hear a game called eve online oh yeah yes. i was that's, always told that's, you can't that's get into win. the game now that is because paywall. yeah yeah sure. once you can't get like you can't get into anything at all because they don't trust you because everybody thinks you're a spy for another group and then two people have been playing it like hardcore for years now and like you can't do anything unless that you game throw is insane money at it. i mean it's yeah. gonna be similar to like uh, Star Citizen is another example. Mm, that's yeah. a good game. Because, um... Pay you know, $1,000 yeah, for all these, uh... You're paying, like, these high-ticket prices for these items in this game, but they can just blow up. Yeah. If someone could steal right. it. Yeah. Like, that sucks. Like, yeah. you have to have some deep pockets to play Yeah, I was like told that. never even play a game like that. Like, Evo, I was told, because a customer came in and was <laughs> talking to me about it, I was told, look, if you're going to start playing EVO Online, at least go into it with two to $3,000. Right. If that were the case, yeah. if you were playing EVO Online, you'd be driving a 1996 Civic. <laughs> 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 um, so, obviously, we see the problem as gamers. We see the issue. What is the way that you can do pay to win? Or not pay to win, because that isn't... Uh, what is the way that we can like work with developers <laughs> to do <laughs> microtransactions that work? Like my, my, my thought process is like either let it be free to play or right. let me pay $60 and give right. me everything. Right. Which, of course, like... they're not, they're not going to make as much money. And that's the issue is developers being greedy versus... Mm-hmm. I feel Being like if developers. it's just DLC bundles, like that's fine. I'm fine with throwing stuff at DLC. Yeah. But when it's like in game, yeah, I feel like DLC stuff is going to be complete. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah no, I know. I, I feel yeah, like, yeah. like like DLC is like a whole different. It's a whole beast. other beast. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. because you can, well, you can classify stuff as DLC, and it could just be like I mean, I bought DLC for like Arkham Knight that was just character skins. No, right. Like, yeah. And it was considered DLC, not microtransactions. So well, it's kind of like what microtransactions has evolved from. Yeah. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? That's yeah. kind of like the very from first horse, form. From horse armor to <laughs> right. everything for your horse. Yeah. I, I agree with what Zach said, though. If if I'm paying $60 for a game, everything in that game should be unlocked, and I should have access to it, right? Or whether, it should whether, be a, able to unlock. Right. Without Like, see, that's what... Mm. <laughs> I'm not going to hit you, don't worry. You almost have, you almost we were me. playing... I, I can't remember what game I was playing the other night. I was playing something with somebody. And, but they had a bunch of stuff you had to unlock as you went through the game. And in order to uh, even get to some of it, you had to like buy into it. Yeah. And it was so frustrating because I remember playing like... Oh, we were talking about Call of Duty, the new Black Ops and stuff. Where they have crates that, that you drop. And like for certain crates, you have to open them with money. Or you can buy more with money or something right. like that. I have not played that much of it because I quit playing it for the specific reason right. of their stupid crates. It's terrible micro But, like, I remember playing back in the day, Modern Warfare 2, and it's like, you know, you just had to, you had to be cool. Like, you had to get so many headshots with a gun. Right, you right. You had to get so many kills with an attachment. Which like they I'm still do fu- that. They yeah, do right, that. right. For the, like, um, for certain, um... Skins for the guns, right? But that's how it should be. But that's how it should be. If I pay full price for a game, hell, even if it's like a, even if it's like a game, a free to play game, and they ask me to pay eighty dollars, but I get everything in the game, and then people who don't have eighty dollars don't get that stuff. 
I'm fine with that too. Depends. Like, or even I just want to. I want to get what my money's worth. Hunting collectibles too. It's like I. I mean, they do that in games too, and I'm like, I'll embrace finding collectibles. Like if they're not the shards and in infamous or like flags and Assassin's Creed. Like, Agility orbs and Crackdown one. Okay, Crackdown's like impossible. No, that's impossible. <laughs> Battlefield. <laughs> I don't know. Person that has that achievement. Really? Yeah. Ba- Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, dude. That's crazy. Go hard. Battlefield actually <laughs> really upset me because it was so good. I liked Battlefield for what it was. Battlefield one or what? Battlefield Anything? four and one. I think okay. are both the same way. As because you know that game always rewards. So if you want to be a sniper class or an assault class, you play that game. You play that class long enough, yeah. and you unlock another gun in that class, right? right. And that's how it went. Right, and yeah. then somewhere almost between when Battlefield four was almost done to where they were getting close to the release Battlefield one, they released this thing to where you could pay. To get that gun unlocked now. Oh, you don't want to grind for three weeks in that class anymore? Just give us five bucks. Here's here's the weapon Ooh. class. That shouldn't be how it's done. No. That's crap. Well, Battlefield 1 has caught a lot of crap, too, because like they have ultra-cool skins that you can only get by buying certain battle packs. And then, even then, it's still rare and random. I was going to say, is it randomized from there? Yeah, it's randomized from there. And then, I Real think, money, I don't know if you can, I can't remember if you chance. can earn the battle packs. Yeah. Well, there was some game I remember hearing like a couple months ago that got in trouble for that because like you bought the stuff, but the chance for like the rare stuff was so skewered yeah. that it was like point oh 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 one chance that you could get this. Right. Which you're never getting it because they they basically lied to you. If the game's free to play, I have no problem with microtransactions. That's how they're going to make their money. Right. right? That matters. Right. That makes That's sense. That's something that just makes sense. It just makes sense. But if you're like paying for. Like saying I'm I'm the one person who's playing the game for free. Right. I should be able to grind out things. The better yes, yes, yes. the better Correct. guns, whereas, you know, someone who is paying the paywall, the premium, yeah. Like get them. They they should get that. Mm-hmm. So but they shouldn't get something else on top of that, I yeah. think. So right. that's just not fair to the people who are doing the free to play, I guess. If yeah. it's like a cosmetic thing, I'm okay with it. Yeah, cosmetic like, like overall. It's, you, it's you, things you, that don't have any effect on the game. Well, even then, like, going back to For Honor, like, to some degree, I paid $60 for the game. Uh-huh. I'm fine with, like, if you want to pay a hundred, if you want to pay $100 on top of that $60 and earn a bunch of extra stuff fast, to some degree, I don't necessarily have a problem with that. But don't punish me, the guy that only paid $60 and then right. didn't drop the additional right. $100. Right. Let me still be able to un- unlock things at a reasonable pace. Correct. Right. Like, but if I'm, like, hitting walls and, like, I need to upgrade whatever weapon or piece of armor or whatever it is, and I don't have enough iron constantly. Yeah. That's a problem. Don't make it, like, a three-month grind. Yeah, but I think Ubisoft, because I think that is Ubisoft, right? That is yeah, Ubisoft. Yeah. Ubisoft has kind of a problem with that anyway, and that's a whole probably different podcast. Microsoft transaction like, soft? Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. There's a couple game companies that I just feel like are really tripping. Like, and I, uh, I know but, I've said it a couple times. APV is, like, really bad about it. Yeah. yeah. Like, you... <laughs> You don't even get permanent guns. Well, you can get permanent guns. Oh, really? But you're you're paying like five dollars to use this gun for a week. See, that's ridiculous. A couple days. Really? Yeah. At least uh, this so back. To, I, haven't, so I haven't gone back to that game. Not so only long. that, you have to refresh your money. Right. That's, in order to pay that. That's, that's crazy. That's, that's the only game that I can think of. That's what what is this again? What's it called? All points bulletin. Like it's a fun game. Is it? It looks really cool. Is it new? No, it's, no, it's, it's been around forever, dude. Yeah, it's it's pretty old, but it's just one of those things that's kind of like. That's in my, my microdreams I should help play to win or yeah. pay to win. But it'll never stop until Oh yeah. It, it'll because you know, we keep saying, Well, if until we stop playing the game. Right. Everyone's like, Oh, well, if we just don't buy this game, if we don't stop that's never gonna happen. Okay. Stop stop ever thinking that someone that you're gonna have a group of people is just like, Oh, well, I'm not gonna play, buy this game. Sure, you might have a small group of people that's doing that, but that small group of people doesn't matter because yeah. the majority are still gonna buy it and they're still gonna make their money. But I think Well, we have I to. feel like at some points like gamers are just like well, shit, microtransactions. Well, I might as well buy it because that's the way it's gonna be. Like they're just they're giving into it because it's what game developers are. They don't think like if I don't buy this, maybe they'll not stop doing this. Yeah. Oh, 100 percent. Well, and it's a little unfair because you know they like Battlefield. I love Battlefield, and then they're like, "Hey, you can get this extra stuff," and right, it's like because thing. it's a game that I love, I'm much more inclined right to buy. It's like Gears of War. Like, they did it with Gears of War. They do it with every, like, multiplayer game that you can get weapons and stuff. I can think of. And it's just mind-blowingly frustrating. And I feel like you're 100% right. Gamers want to unlock things, but if 
they can't unlock things that all their friends are unlocking without paying money. They're going to pay the money. Yep. Yeah. And it's, I don't know. Like, if you don't vote with your dollar, essentially, then it's never going to change. Because, I mean, com- think of If companies are making hand over fist cash, why would you change? Why would you? Like yeah. that's, that's another thing, like, Capcom's getting a lot of shit for right now. Because Street Fighter 4, or Street Fighter 5, when that came out, mm-hmm. no one bought it because it was basically an unfinished game. Yeah. Like, yeah. when they bought it, they're like, everyone was expecting, you know, the regular arcade mode, you know, your... I remember. All that stuff. <laughs> and that's why the sales for that game are shit. Yeah. What happened? It wasn't there? It just was the No, mode. like, there's still no arcade mode. Yeah. Like, you're literally just getting, like, base game of, like, training mode, online versus... There's story modes. They just added story modes maybe like a year ago. And people are just pissed off about it because it's like, well, we paid $60 for this, what we feel like is an unfinished yeah. game. And then we're also paying additional. You're paying additional that. for all the stuff, like stages, which is, I mean, I can understand that. Characters. And costumes and stuff like that, and characters, but it's like, fuck. And they like, have an in game currency, but it's a steep it's to a, buy. It's a grind. Why yeah, you- dude. Some games are doing that with uh, pre-orders anyway. Like, you get pre-order bonuses. Right. And you can just, like, unless people throw money at the in-game stuff, like, you have an immediate advantage because you you have a weapon from the start or whatever that's, like, twice as good as, like, something that somebody will get in the first week playing the game. I think pre-order stuff is just in the same basis in standard DLC. That could be a whole topic in itself. Like, I was, Yeah. I was going to say, real quick before we go on to that, because, like you said, it's a whole different beast. But, um... Going back to what Trey said about Capcom, especially Street Fighter, they kind of ran into another issue when I believe it was Street Fighter 4 came out. A lot of people were mad because the DLC shipped oh, on the disc. Yeah, yeah. The DLC was I on remember the disc. that. That's I what I was going to get to next about uh, what happened to Street Fighter 4 and um, Marvel's Capcom, I do believe, was had that same issue. Three? Yes. Yeah. A lot of people were they were under the impression, hey, I bought this disc. I should have access to everything on there. Agreed. If you release yeah. something later, you know, like if basically. You're, you're paying for this full game, whatever they have made at that time. Anything they make after that time should be DLC. Correct. But if you've already got all they created, why is it not shipping with the, the full game? And if it's on the yeah. disc, yeah, it's yours. You should. Was there a lawsuit or something about that? Because if not, I, there, I think that there, there easily could have been. Because if I buy this product, if this disc, and I don't have access to everything on said disc, that's an issue. Right. Yeah, that's, that's what I was trying to get to eventually like down the road. But that's like the whole... DLC on right. disc shit. That's that's terrible. Like, like that should have never happened. First day patches. Like, first day patches. I can understand. Yeah. Cause that's like fixing a game. Hey, we realize this game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, and especially I think. Well, I think that is just a problem with the whole gaming industry as is. Like you hear horror stories about like forty eight hour work days and stuff like, or maybe not forty hour work days, but people <laughs> sleeping <laughs> at. It's like you're fitting two days. Sleeping at the one. desk. People sleeping at their desk. Right. Oh, right. Yeah. In between work because it's like they're in crunch mode and they're in well, rush I mode. Like the it's happened with Dream Daddy. The yeah. Well, the <laughs> really? stress of yeah. the game industry. Oh wow! Now, I knew they they released late. Sorry, Zach. No, that's fine. Uh, like the stress of the game industry now is like it's got to get out as soon as possible. Yeah. And like not that they're rushing it but it's like we have to meet the date like they can't granted we don't want a last guardian that's like eight years nine years i'm okay with the way last guardian took that's okay but it's okay what i'm saying is like you hear about it 10 years and then they keep delaying it like oh yeah next year next year is it instead out? of yeah, last guardian yeah came out in the spring oh gosh anyway like, i'm so behind on some games man or you get stuff that's like Time uh, exclusives what? is another thing about that. Mm-hmm. But that's Friday yeah. the thirteenth, thir- which was, that like, game was oh yeah, it's right like and broken on yeah. every platform. You couldn't play it on the consoles when it came out. Yeah. You had you had to play in order to play Friday the thirteenth, you had to invite people to a private game. It was the worst thing in the world. Yeah. Absolute worst thing. That was well that was pr- something wrong with Street Fighter Five too. Like multiplayer just didn't like yeah, there well, was it just didn't work. Street Fighter Five like this game they rushed the game out. It was terrible. When it first started out it was mm-hmm. horrendous. And then there's the whole, oh yeah, you, if you want characters, you have to have to pay for them, which were fairly expensive. And yeah. then the costumes too, which in Street Fighter 4, what they did was they had bundles where you'd buy all of them for X amount of money. Whereas now it's like four bucks only for each each costume that you want. Well, even then, like you stack them on top of each other. That's that. Yeah, you're turning up quick. You're turning a sixty dollar game into like the two hundred dollar game at that point. If you get all the content that is built in the game. Yeah. 
Like, you have to have unlockables. And it, they have to be, it's like I said, like, it has to be paced properly. Right, yeah. So, you can't force me to buy more crap. I mean, I don't know. I just, I feel like you put something... <sighs> the argument can be made that, well, that is the, the developer's decision. That's how they want to make money. That's how they want to do business. If you don't want to do that, then don't. Don't buy it. But it's just, it's bad business. It's, it's not how gaming is. Like, gaming isn't just about money. I mean, I guess it's a business. It's, so it's it come is. down to, yeah, yeah. I guess I'm a romantic. Yeah, we're. we're <laughs> I think we're thinking of the. It's about the love. The good the old times. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. had The unlockables on disc, like when you play, playing well, Smash Brothers. Well, it used to be. Here's your game. It's like so many kilobytes. Like right, like you man, enjoy it. You get three lives. You gotta grind through it again. Right. Yep. When we when we played uh, Smash Brothers Melee for the first time, and it was like. New challenges appear. You're like, right. oh, shit. Like, yeah, hold yeah, up, yeah. what? Who was not moment? excited for that? Like, that Unlocking awesome. new characters was half... And that's the thing. You're, you almost have it anymore. you're almost paying for your own replayability on a game now. Right. Well, and I that's ridiculous. Like, old games, like, I think it was, like, Dragon Ball, uh, like, the Budokai Tenkaichi series. It was like, you, you did certain things, you played certain characters against each other, and you found secrets, like, in the right. game. And it was like, this is like DLC. This is crazy. No, no, it was like, and that becomes a problem now in two different ways. One, nowadays, you just pay for 90% of those secrets, right? right? Yeah. The second thing that, and this again is a whole other beast, is the fact that there are no more secrets in games because it's all spoiled online. Everything oh, yeah. that will ever, Smash Brothers, for example, the amount of time when I played Smash Brothers and when Mewtwo fought, I had no idea Mewtwo was in the game. No freaking idea. And when that happened, the amount of, ex I lost the first time I fought him, so I was pissed off, but that's yeah, a whole right. other thing. But when I when that happened, the amount of joy and excitement you get from seeing something that you didn't even know was there, and it's just like, yeah. oh my god, right. Jack and Daxter yeah. being unlocked in Hot Shots Golf. I'll never forget that, because that was right. freaking amazing right. to be able to play as Jack and Daxter. Cloud of Kingdom Hearts. Right. They, and yeah. you'll never get that feeling again. You just won't, because yeah. it's all spoiled for you. Well, I it's think either. that's spoiled, or it's just... It's just part of the world we live in now. Like Unfortunately, you're, you're gonna scroll through Twitter one day and you're gonna be like, "Oh, just announced this person's in this game." And like, you're never gonna have, nope. you're never gonna be able to be spoiler free in a game anymore. No, nope. yeah, that's why I'm going and to live in the woods, <laughs> in a cabin with a single line of internet run, just so I can play games online. It's a good idea, but no Twitter or anything else. So you can do your microtransactions from the woods and stuff. Yes, that is, <laughs> that is correct. That is correct. Maybe I'll get a microtransaction for some gallons of water. Does, or uh, does Amazon Prime reach out to the woods? <laughs> oh, Amazon goes everywhere, my friend. We're going to have drones no, too, right? Just have like right? a drop parachute in the middle of the woods. That's the first step towards the robot army, my yeah. friend. So um, so I feel like DLC, what do you guys feel about? How do you guys feel about that? We've already talked about that kind of in... I'm fine with DLC as long well. as... It's it's like lengthening the life of a game. Yeah, yeah, is DLC to me. And it's a but if it's like paying for something that's art, like kind of like Destiny, which is like story. When it first came out, I'll say when yeah. it first came out, you have your base game, and then from there, you had the DLC where it was that wall. When you went into the Crucible, you were fucked because there are people that had like way better guns than you. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But you could still still play with them. I can Correct. understand that, but you're gonna have that. Gap, correct. Yeah. Right. But to, to me, like, that's part of the extension of the game. Right. Like, that's an imbalance that I right. don't know if you can fix unless you make a DLC only Crucible and a right. non DLC only Crucible. Right. I don't. I don't have a problem with that really, and I don't have a problem with DLC as long as it's a legitimate expansion right. for the game. Right. Like, I wish wondering. that's what we called them now. Is uh, is expansions because that's what we used to call them. Yeah. You used to go out and you used to buy Hellfire, which is the Diablo 1 expansion, mm -hmm. or Lord of Destruction, which is the Diablo, and you would bring it home and you'd install it, and it was a whole nother game. Oh, yeah. Shivering Isles and Elder Scrolls 4, oh, probably yeah. the best DLC <laughs> for, for, the, for the value. I'm sorry uh, for touching your knee. No, down. it's okay. It was an understandable <laughs> moment. I get your, get the your connection. pleasure. But I don't know. I don't yeah, know. if it's story, like pre, post, whatever like a side plot you didn't know happened or whatever something that caused something in the game that explains story further right or whatever like that's perfectly fine if it's like a certain map pack or whatever like oh god halo i, yeah. I remember i remember halo back in the day when you couldn't play packs. you couldn't play like with your friends who have the map packs mm -hmm. well even then like Call of Duty like Remastered this year brought map packs back i think in a separate dlc that yeah. you had to buy instead of with the game right yeah. The, as long it's as the DLC is like, as long as the DLC is actual DLC and not B 
BS that's on the disc already or something that they just want to something that you know, adds to the game, not that here's this stuff, play it in the existing. There's game. there's right. there's the DLC the DLC that I am bothered by is DLC that they already have done, but they just didn't want to put it out yet. Now there's a difference between saying, Hey look, here's like Destiny. We'll take Destiny for example, right? <laughs> yeah. So Destiny came out and the game was kind of the story wise was meh. I still think it has one of the best shooting mechanics of any game. Oh yeah, for sure. But the, the story, story was terrible. Well, there was no story, right? And everyone yeah. was upset about that. But the game itself, itself, by the amount of stuff you could do, it was decently there. And then you had that. What was it? The House of Wolves and what was the other one? Vault of Blast. Vault, no, that was that was the first, raid. That was the raid. raid. Uh, well, there were two DLCs that came out not long after it. I think should have been included. It was with the it. Underdark now? Or I've never heard of that one. There's House of Wolves. No, that was just a mode. It was something about something the moon, moon, right? Yeah. Now, the that, Dark Below? The Dark Below. That was it. The Dark Below. Now, with that being said, The Taken King, now that oh, yeah, was an expansion. Yeah, that was a DLC I'd have no idea paying for. Right. Or no no problem. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no idea <laughs> yeah, I was paying for it. I woke up my, one morning, I had the game. It was installed, it was like, I blacked out and don't remember anything. I had no problem paying yeah. for that. So, if they know they have DLC already done, and they're just waiting to put it out to get more money, that's BS. But if they're going to say, hey, look, we are going to work on an expansion. It's not, not even started, but we do have plans for it. I don't mind paying for that kind of DLC. So, it sounds to me like the fam consensus is that paid uh, microtransactions is good in balance with a full game. Yes. It, if, it's, if it's a free-to-play game and there are microtransactions... As long as you can unlock everything via grind, that's fine. Right. I mean, if the fair. grind is reasonable to the amount yeah, yeah. that you pay for it, then I feel like that's okay. Because the developer is going to get money one or two ways, right? They're going to get money from you buying it, from from where, or you yeah. just playing the game constantly. Yeah, I think Mortal Mortal Kombat did that. Uh, Mortal Kombat X, because you could unlock everything in the crypt, right? Mm-hmm. By paying what was it, like twenty bucks, maybe maybe fifty. I don't even know. But you bought the base game. You have this crypt that unlocks. I think it was like costumes different finishers and stuff like that that was a good game that was like I like the way that that stuff unlocked which Mm -hmm. was fun but then you had like the DLC characters but that's back to the DLC right beast and so like cosmetics as long as they don't offer buffs or like tiers of stuff right if you have an access to them and it's not like a pay only way pay pay to win as long as the fact that you don't have an advantage over me because you paid more money I'm okay with it right yeah and there you go what about, um, just to kind of open it up a little bit further, because I know Tim kind of touched on this uh, with pre-orders earlier, hmm. um, kind of getting into that, because I think we, we we probably have, well, four out of five of us probably have a different idea of pre-orders just because we worked at GameStop. Right. So I, we always saw the people that would come in and get upset when we didn't have the game in stock because they didn't pre-order. If you know you're going to get the game, why aren't you pre-ordering it? So right. kind of going into... Um, pre-order DLC <sighs> to me pre-order DLC again if it doesn't give me a, a, a big advantage over everybody else who didn't get it, it doesn't bother me but at the same time if they're gonna do pre-order DLC it needs to be the same no matter where you buy it from I hate this okay, so that was go gonna be my next point was retailer exclusives that is that's bullshit so but that's GameStop gets something nature here, of Best the beast. Buy something that's there. there that's just the nature of the beast I mean, cause yeah. it's gonna be like time exclusive on consoles you know, so I'm, I'll say this: I'm okay with retailer exclusives as long as there's a way to access it within the game. Yeah, okay, okay that, yeah, yeah, yeah that I'm okay with. But if so, like, if you yeah. if you get the game, like if I pre-ordered GameStop, but the Best Buy pre-order exclusive was available in game for ninety nine cents. That's fine. I mean, I, I can as long as I have access to it, I'm I'm fine with that too. It was like, I don't want to buy three three different copies of the game to get a code inside, and then, yeah. okay, I'll return the game. Gears right. of War had a Baird skin for Best Buy purchases, and I was pissed because I couldn't get that Baird skin because it was a Best Buy exclusive, and Baird's right. my favorite character in Gears. Right. That stuff pisses me off. But no, if I have access to it, even if I just have to grind forever to get it, well, it wouldn't bother me. It's been become a thing, too, um, that if you pre-order, it, you, like, pre-orders were introduced, and it was like, here's this free weapon or skin or whatever. And it was the base price. Now they're in, in, entering like with tiers of this amount gets you like like you know, like you get the base game fifty nine ninety nine. Mm-hmm. But if you pre order at a higher oh. amount, you get more stuff. You see what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. So like Assassin's Creed's doing it now where you get uh the base game, get the you get that, you get the gold edition, you get a skin, a weapon, and the first uh tomb or whatever. 
But if you, if you order the eight hundred dollar one, you get a uh, like a statue, a giant statue, a flag, a medallion, a certificate, all this other stuff. Well, that's I'm cool that's with the, physical. I know, yeah. I know physical stuff. That's the but, cost of the premium. Yeah. Collector's edition. Here's as far as like in-game stuff is the is the issue. Yeah. Of having that lock of retailer saying yeah. like I'm playing. I don't know a game, a fighting game where it's like, oh, I can have this character, but then going off to Target and getting that that exclusive, I won't be able to get that one right in the game because it's locked behind the Target coding. Yeah, in the game. Here's my beef with pre-orders because I'm not a fan of pre-orders. I don't like pre-orders. I specifically don't pre-order games now, and the reason being is this: um, it's manipulation. Oh yeah, it's yeah. a way to pre-order bonuses I should say it's a way to get people to buy a game and pad numbers before any the reviews are out before anyone oh, knows yeah. it. that's why people bought uh, Alien Colonial Marines yeah oh, it's why people like <laughs> they, there's tons and tons of games that I worked at GameStop and people would pre-order them come in buy them and then pre-order them so and you know one of the things you sell it as yeah. is, well if you pre-order it you get this this and this because that's how you train to do it right. and then they come in the next day and they're like they slap it down on the table they're like i want to return this this is a so, terrible yeah. game well you can't return it you can trade it in though uh, and, and it's just like uh, it's manipulation that's yeah, all no it is no okay, never like, mentioned that game to me ever sorry, sorry. no okay. man's no man's sky was just a, a matter of overhyping it yeah yeah that wasn't yeah. pre-order but that was just like they hyped it way too big, and they did not present. They presented something that was cool, but not as cool as it should. Well, and they yeah. lied. I mean, let's not forget the fart part. <laughs> the well, what did they lie? <laughs> Don't forget the, fart, the fart that the was DLC, the DLC fart, guys. Come on. What did yeah. they lie about? They said there was going to be multiplayer. You could go yeah. with your friends, and you could not. Oh, I didn't know that they yeah. had said you could play. Yeah, they said, oh, yeah, you'll be able to explore the galaxy with and your then friends. They, and then I mean, they talked about, like, unlimited randomization of stuff, and it was, like, different models just in different colors on them. right it was bad no man's sky was just bad yeah they got, uh, that's another beast that's really <laughs> that annoying. game in itself is another story as far as pre-orders i'm okay with it i like being able to like like the dlc is one thing or like the stuff that you get at the pre-order bonuses is one thing like i'm okay with that but also i like the fact that like i can go to the like game or something say i want this game like i'm sold on it at this point and then pay it off until then like, yeah that's, i'm fine with that I, I would like to ident uh, um, fix something I said. I said I don't pre-order games ever. That's not entirely true. There are some games I know I'm going to like. Oh, yeah. Hence why I have World War II, or Call of Duty World War II pre-ordered twice See, on <laughs> Xbox One <laughs> and on PC. I'm so happy. Okay, I'm, so, I'm the same way. I don't pre-order stuff unless I'm 100% sold on yeah. already. Like the new God of War... I've liked every God of War they put out, so I know I'm gonna like this God of War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I pre-order it. I'm not. What if you don't? I'm just <laughs> if I don't, then that's fine. I like as far as my pre-orders, I've never been upset with a game that I've pre-ordered. I just don't so, like the idea of pre-order bonuses yeah. selling a game. So with me, myself, I I pre-order everything from Amazon. I yeah. am anti-GameStop, anti. I'm cool with that. So I think respect. a lot of us are anti-GameStop. Now. With yeah, for sure. Well, I, Except for him, um, I mean, I so. get GameStop is. So we, <laughs> with, with, we, all, we all worked there. I think that's the no, reason. No, I know. Well, yeah, that, that's there's the, a whole that's other story. Bes that's yeah. beside the point. Um, I mean, with Amazon Prime, you save twenty percent off the game right. when, you, when you pre order. Like I'm, I'm, if I don't buy from Amazon, like that's, I'm just wasting money at that point. So for me, whenever a game is announced, I pre order it. For one, because I'm going to get that twenty percent savings. Yeah. But two, I don't have to put any money down. Mm. I've pre-ordered the game without spending any money, and it only charges me when it ships. Yeah, I have up good. until it it actually ships the warehouse to, to decide. Mind. See, I've gotten lazy. I buy all my games digital on my Xbox and PC. Like, I don't know the last time I bought a physical copy. That. I do like the I've digital started doing stuff. That. Just I look. I'll I'll be honest. I'm lazy. If I could sit yeah. on my couch with my controller and go, oh, I'm playing this game. Oh, now I'm gonna play this game. Oh, now I'm gonna play this game. If I have to touch a disc, I'll do it. Well, that's, I what used to be, and that's what I the used oil to be was. But we all know where that went. Yeah, I used to be anti digital, but now like I used to like like it's like reading a book. I like the physical thing. Like I'm sorry, like I just like putting the disc in and like all right, time to play video games. But I've started to shift to digital and pre ordering like. PlayStation Network has been starting to offer like certain games that I'll, I want to pre-order. They offer the same thing mm -hmm. as 
GameStop or Best Buy or whatever. And sometimes yeah. you get to play them early. And you, yeah, uh, you're you either early or right at midnight. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah. Battlefront too. Yeah, yeah, yeah early, 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 early access. Early access is another thing that's kind of frustrating. Yeah, but I guess if you're you know getting that pre-order premium bonus yeah it doesn't bother me if you're going to get the game and they give you an early access as a as a plus for pre-ordering like i don't know i'm, I'm okay with that so a good like, example yeah, of that. it's just a scheme to boost sales though yeah it is oh, oh for arc, sure you guys know what arc is yeah everyone knows what arc yeah. is right arc has been in early access for three years four years for a very 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 long time it has a release date August something, Has the end of this month. The, release the end of, but here's the p- killer part about Ark. So this kind of wraps to our DLC thing. Ark was an early access game, not a fully released game, right? It was still mm-hmm. made up, blah, 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 blah. It had a whole DLC pack you had to buy separate from it already. Like last year, they That's released a DLC. They released that. a DLC so, map. Yeah, it's, so it's a completely unfinished game. They're saying it's unfinished, but they're releasing DLC. But they're working on a whole other so part of the game. So that should just have been part of the an whole update. game. Yeah. Correct. The it amount of. Be a patch. Hmm. It shouldn't. So mad about Until that. Until you've released a full game and called it a full game, you shouldn't have DLC. Me for it. That's not. And my roommate, because my roommate loves that game, it's like his freaking bread and butter. Me and him got into the biggest argument about that whole situation. He's like, "No, I understand, man. It's going towards them to help support release of the games. Like, they shouldn't charge you for something that isn't even a full game yet." That's what yeah. paying for early access did. Right. Ah, oh, it was a big thing. Yeah, early access is a whole different. Well, I think, I think we covered quite a bit here. Yeah, yeah. I think we covered everything. Paywall, <laughs> DLC, just about everything to do with yeah. Yeah. bonus. Going game to company's game. bad. <laughs> that's I think. Yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, I want to keep my money. Give I want everything for free. For free. Yeah, and I that, want it now. That, yeah, it's my there's Xbox that too. And I want it now. <laughs> Well, uh, I think that was a pretty solid podcast. I'm glad we could all get together for our 10th one. Yeah. yeah. Pushing in the double digits. 10th and anniversary. What? Here's <laughs> to getting into the triple digits. Woo. Yeah. That's a while off, but hey, yeah, 100%. We will do it. I wasn't being negative. I was just thinking about like the grand scheme of things. It's, uh, Maybe you it's won't a big number. <laughs> cheesy, Damn. Tim. I'm sure by then I will have broken your will. You better see and you will have left, we're, Timothy. We're Keep an eye out for uh, Zach vs. Tim, a new series coming up. <laughs> <laughs> things are already a little uh, high on the tension scale. That's yeah. True. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. As always, make sure you uh, subscribe to be updated when our new episodes come out. Leave a comment if you liked it or a review on iTunes. And uh, follow us on our socials to stay up to date on everything else we've got going on. Until next time, see you later. Later, guys. And it'd be hilarious if you like cut off right now and be like, oh, you have to pay for the rest of this. <laughs> <laughs> you have to pay for the rest of this, <laughs> this episode. If you hear the two-hour version of this podcast, please subscribe and donate $5. That's right. Ooh, yeah, I guess we should, we should have been like, oh, yeah, check out our Patreon. That's a paywall. That's <laughs>